Hey everyone, my name is Riley and in this video I will be showing you step by step how you can build a sales funnel with system.io. Now the best way to get started with system.io if you do not already have an account is to use my system.io link down in the description as if you sign up through this page right here you get access to all of my bonuses. This includes done for you funnel templates, done for you email marketing sequence, a full system.io video launch series and and done for you lead magnet. Once you have signed up for your system IO account, you should be taken to this screen that looks like this. Now this is the main system.io dashboard. This is the main dashboard right here. And we do have some brief information here. It shows us the amount of leads that have recently came in through our funnel. For me, this is two leads. For you, it will probably be zero as you haven't set up your funnel yet. Over here in live updates on this right hand side, it's also going to notify you anytime somebody makes a purchase, signs up to your email list or anything like that. Now to actually go ahead and start creating the funnel, the first thing that we are going to do is click on funnels up here. As you can see, I already have one funnel. I will just go ahead and delete this right here. And my screen should now look the exact same as yours, where it says the list is empty. So the first thing that we are going to do is just go ahead and click on this plus icon that says create in this top right corner. And now we can go ahead and start creating this funnel. The first thing that we are going to do is select the goal of the funnel, whether we are building an audience where we are mainly looking to build the email list, whether we are selling a product or service, building a custom funnel from scratch or running an evergreen webinar. So in this example, I'm going to go ahead and select selling a product or service. And then up here, we can go ahead and create a title for this funnel. So in this example, I'm just going to call this marketing book, just like that. And then over here, we have the funnel domain. Now, by default, this is going to be your system.io username dot system dot io. Now, the first part of the domain, you can actually customize in your settings. And we can also go ahead and switch this out for a personalized and private domain. So I will go ahead and show you how to do both of these things. Before we do that, though, we just want to go down to the bottom and I'm going to go for US dollar or the currency. And once you have set all of this up, let's go ahead and click on save. OK, so before we actually go ahead and dive into the funnel and start building this out, the first thing that we are going to do is play around and customize the domain. So to do this, hover over your profile icon in the top right corner and then click on settings right here. That is going to take you over to the settings area and over here on the left hand side, you should see this option that says custom domain. So just go ahead and click into that and that will take us over to the custom domains area. And the way that we can connect up our own custom domain is by clicking on add domain in this top right corner. And then you can enter in the name of the domain that you own and link this to system.io. If you want to purchase a domain but do not yet have one, I recommend using this website right here called Namecheap to go ahead and purchase your domain. From all of the domain registrars that I have used, this one is by far the best. And if you want to grab a discount on your domain, you can use the link down in the description to buy your domain with Namecheap. So that is the first way, and that is how we can add a completely customized domain like this. However, the second method is we can actually edit the first bit of this system IO domain. The way that we do this is by finding the domain on this custom domain screen and then going over to these three dots on the right hand side and clicking into edit subdomain name. In here, we can go ahead and change the name. So I will change this to GeForce North, click save. And just like that, you can see the first bit of this domain has now been changed. So that is how you can edit and customize your domain. Let's go ahead and go back over to funnels. And once we are on the funnels page, you should see the funnel that we created and set up earlier. So from here, what we are going to do is just find the funnel right here and click into it. It's then going to take us through to this section where we can start creating and customizing the funnel template. Over here on the left hand side, you can see all of the funnel steps. So right now we have an order form and a thank you page. 
You can delete funnel steps at any time by hovering over these three dots and then clicking on remove. I actually want to go ahead and add in a new funnel step here, which you can do by clicking on add step at the bottom and we can now create a new funnel step. So I'll go ahead and call this sales page and then under type, we can choose what type of page this is. Whether this is a squeeze page or this is also known as a landing page, a pop-up form, link in bio or anything like that. So I'm just going to select a sales page right here. And then once that is entered, we can click on save. And as you can see, we now have that funnel step. You can rearrange the funnel steps by simply clicking and dragging on the funnel step to add it above. And this looks good for this specific funnel that I am building. We have a sales page that takes them to an order form that takes them to a thank you page. So I'm happy with this. Next is choosing the different templates that we are going to use. From here, we have a few different template options, which you can preview by hovering over the template and clicking on preview template. And that will open this template in a new tab, show you it full screen. So we can now scroll through and see if this is the template that we want to go with. When selecting a template, it's always a good idea to choose a template that looks similar to the final design of your website. This isn't to say that you are giving up certain elements or one template can do something that another template cannot. All of these templates are fully customizable. It just makes it a lot easier if you choose a template that is similar to the final website design. In this example, because I am selling a book, this is absolutely fantastic as all I have to do is customize this and most of the heavy lifting is done for me. So once you have found the template that you would like to use, just click on select. And then we can choose the name of this. So the name right now is sales page, but I don't want this to show up as sales page on my website. So I'm just going to call this get the best marketing book on the internet. Then beneath this, you will see a URL path. So effectively, this is what is going to show up right here at the top in the domain section. So after this, right at the moment, this is just a bunch of random numbers and letters. It doesn't look very professional. So I'm just going to change this to marketing book, just like that. So once you have entered the name and the URL path, let's now go ahead and dive into the funnel and actually start editing this first page. So to do this, just go over to this right hand side and click on edit page right here. And this is going to open up the editor for system.io. Now the way this editor works is actually pretty simple. At first it can look a little bit confusing, but it's super, super simple. So effectively the funnel is made up of different sections. This top section you can see is made up of everything between this top green line and this bottom green line. The second section is everything between these two green lines and then the third section between these two green lines, so on and so forth. In each individual section, we also have elements that are outlined by this orange box. So you can see we have a text headline right here. We have just some text. We have two buttons right here and then we have an image. So that is a brief overview of the editor. Now to actually customize the website, all we have to do is click into these different elements and we can go ahead and edit this. So for example, grow your business for free. So I'm just going to change this to say the best marketing book on the internet, just like that. Above the element, you can see this toolbar that we can select along. For example, if I go heading six, that's going to make the text smaller. Heading one is going to make the text bigger. However, the main editor of the website is going to come over here on the left hand side, as this is the main control panel of each element. For example, because I have this element highlighted, this text box, I can use this left hand side to turn the size of the font up or down. We also have line height underneath, which is going to space the text out on each line. So I think that looks pretty cool. And then we can also choose the font type. So we can choose between whether this is the same font. We can go for Google fonts is what I recommend. And then once you have selected Google fonts, we can then go down and choose which font you want to use. I'm going to use my favorite font, which is Montserrat. So I'm going to select this. And then let's go ahead and make this bold using this section underneath. 
So I have now edited that first element. Once again, to edit any of these other elements, for example, this text box, I can click in and then type in here whatever I like. For images, it's just as simple. We click into the image right here. And then over on the main control panel on the left hand side, this is where we can make the changes. So right here at the top, you can see the image file. So to upload the image that I want, all I am going to do is click on this cloud icon and then upload the file from my computer. So I can click select file, choose the file that I want to upload, open this, and then this is now going to be added in. Make sure the file that you want is selected. For example, I can click on this one and add in this file. Once that file is selected, click on insert and your file will now be added to the site. The buttons is once again, just as simple where we can click into the buttons and all of the editing here is going to go on on the left hand side. So we can change the action when the button is clicked. The next step is where I want to take people, but you can also, for example, go ahead and add a download file. You can add a URL to take people to a different website if you want the button to do that. And this is very, very customizable. I'm just going to leave this as next step. And then scrolling further down on the left hand side, we can see the button text right here. Now this says I want it, which I actually like, but let's say I wanted to change this to say subscribe. I can absolutely go ahead and do that. So let's just change this back to the, I want it, that looks cool. We can also change the font size of this button, the line height, and I think you guys are starting to get the idea. So that is basically how you use the website builder. Any elements that you want to change, you can click into. As you can see, all of these are images right here. So we can click in, add different images using the main control panel on this left hand side. You can also rearrange sections using these buttons on the left hand side. So you just hover over the section that you would like to change the location of. And if I want to send this one beneath this one, all I have to do is click on this down arrow and as you can see, these two sections are now going to switch positions. To delete any sections on your site, all you have to do is hover over the section that you would like to delete, click on this trash can icon, and then we can go ahead and delete the section. You can also add in different elements and sections using the main control panel on the left hand side. All we have to do is if I want to add in a new section, I just grab the section right here and drag this in and select where I want to place this on the site. As you can see, I just added in this blank section and then we can use the other elements on this left hand side to fill this section up. For example, I can drop in some text here, maybe add a headline above it. And that is how we can fully customize this funnel. Another important thing that I will mention that a lot of people seem to overlook is switching this over to the mobile view to take a look at how the website looks on mobile. As you can see, this looks pretty good right now. However, if you have an element that is out of place or doesn't look good on mobile, what we can do is click into that element and then over on the main control panel, we can go down here and either choose to make this invisible on desktop or mobile. So right now you can see this is visible on desktop and mobile. I will actually do this with an image that is more visible. So this one right here, I can turn this invisible on mobile. As you can see, that is going to disappear. However, if I go back to the desktop view, it's still going to be there. We can do this the other way around where I can make this invisible on desktop. And if I now go to the mobile view, you can see that this is visible on mobile, but it isn't on the desktop. So that is how you can use the system.io editor. Once you have fully customized your website and this now looks how you want it to look, all we have to do is click on save changes in this top right corner, and then we can back out and this is now saved. So we just created the sales page for this website. The next thing that we are going to do is go to the next step and create the order form. Once again, we have a lot of different options here and a lot of different templates that we can go for. I'm going to go for this one. Once again, you can preview this as you like. I think this looks awesome. I'm happy with this. So I'm going to go ahead and select this template as the one that I want to use. Just like we did last time, we can edit the name. This is called order form. I actually quite like this. So I'm going to leave this. 
and then all I'm going to do is change the URL path to also say order form and be nice and congruent. Once you have done this, we can once again go into edit page on this right hand side, where we will be met with the drag and drop editor. Keep in mind that some sections will say this is an example, please add payment methods in the step settings page. So once again, you can go ahead and change any of this by simply clicking, you can edit the text and then over on the main control panel on the left hand side, this is where we can make the main changes. Some of the things I am going to change on this page is I want to remove this image and replace it with the same image that I put in earlier. So I will grab this book and then this is your trip in 10 days to London. So I'll change this to your book and then just title this marketing strategy. We can also edit this piece of text right here if you want to add in the amount of reviews. So I'm going to keep this at 4.8 but let's add in another one. And you can see this now has 1,455 reviews. If you do not have any reviews on your product, you can go ahead and delete the text box. And as I say, I think you guys have a good understanding about how this works. It's a pretty simple drag and drop editor. Once you are happy with how this looks, we can once again go ahead and save changes. And we have now completed the first two steps. The only thing that we need to do now is go to this last step, and once again, we just do the exact same thing that we did with the other two steps. We can select the template that we want, change this page. So I will say, thank you, page, edit the page, and then we can go ahead and make changes. So I actually like the look of this. There is really nothing I would change on this page, but if you want to, we can click and drop in, change all of this text, change the button links and everything like this using this control panel on the left hand side. So that is how we can actually set up and create the funnel. Now you may be creating a funnel for email contacts. You may be creating a funnel to sell products and you can get a lot of information about this. For example, we can go into contacts right here and this is going to show you all of the people who entered their email or bought the product. It's going to show all of their email addresses right here. Now this is super, super handy because you can reach out. We can even go to emails up here and create a campaign and we can use system IO to do email marketing to make even more money by sending emails to the people who signed up or purchased the product. We can also go over to products right here and we can take a look at orders and this section is going to show all of the orders from the people who purchased your product. So that is how you can build a sales funnel with system.io. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.